Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out the video. I'm Steve. I'm a reseller and I sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Amazon. This is gonna be a what sold video. I'm gonna give you 15 items, I think, that have recently sold. I'm gonna pick out some items in different categories so you get a good spread of items. Okay, I'm not gonna show you anything like a pair of jeans or you know, a baseball hat that sold for $12. I don't do that anyway. But give you some good items that sell for good profit or a brand bolo. You know things to look for so let's hop on the computer and we'll go through them all right so we're going to start off with a pyrex measuring class this is a one cup pyrex measuring cup with the d handle if you look at that handle they call it a d handle because it's like the shape of a d now these i know i've sold these before this is probably like the third or fourth one i've sold in the past year so whenever i see these if i could pay a dollar for them i'll pick it up and this sold for $16.95 plus $4 shipping. I won't pay any more than that because this cup goes in that $15 to maybe $18 range. But look out for Pyrex. Some of it is very valuable. Your best bet is to go onto eBay, type in Pyrex, click off the sold column, um, set the price to high, and just go through what's sold and you'll, you'll see the very expensive models. Now there's different coloring and patterns, but these measuring cups, the ones that have a, a, a like a hanger handle, looks like a number seven, it's not attached at the bottom, those typically don't sell as good as the D-handle ones. So $1 and the $17 took about a week to sell. All right, this next item was a vintage new in box, Speedy Stitcher All. It's for sewing like canvas and heavy material. I picked this up at a estate sale like a week and a half ago. You know, if it was in a thrift store for a couple bucks, I wouldn't have bought it. But I got a whole bunch of stuff for like $5, so I took it. So for $14.95, free shipping. It was like $3 and change to ship, very lightweight. Just went into a padded bubble envelope. So, you know, I might have made, after shipping, I made like 8 or $9 on it. So just something interesting. It was vintage and new in box, so I grabbed it. All right, here we have an emergency portable weather radio. So you can monitor storms and so forth. And I got this at the same estate sale as that wall, the sewing wall. So this was just part of the bundle that I got for five bucks. So maybe call a dollar into it. So for $22.95 plus $4 shipping, I just put another layer of bubble wrap on this, put into a big padded envelope, and off it went. So that was a good profit. And all kinds of electronics do good. I don't really know if this was vintage or not, but it was basically brand new. The box was beat up. But the radio looked like it had never been used. It was spotless. So, and it took about a week to sell. All right, so if you're an experienced seller, you don't need to be told about printer ink. We all know it's a great seller. But if you're new, keep an eye out for ink. Ink sells even if it's expired. I picked this up for $1.99 when I was doing a week of videos of sourcing nothing but books. And I just happened to be going by one of the shelves on the way to the register. And I saw it sitting there, so I grabbed it. $1.99 sold for $23.95 with $4 shipping. And it took about a week to a week and a half to sell. This expired November of last year. So it's about nine months expired, 10 months expired. I don't usually mess with anything more than, I would say, two years expired. But, you know, a lot of people do. I just rather not. So if you're a new seller and you don't know, even expire ink. And my theory behind that is if someone's buying expired ink, they've done it before and they have no worries. So typically you're not going to get a return. But even so, put it in your title, put it in your condition box, and put it in your description box. Put an expiration, put the date, and also take a picture of the expiration date. So there's no mistaking that it's expired. But like I said, to me, if someone's buying expired ink, they've done it before and they know it's still good. Okay, next up, we have a bicycle racing seat. Selly or Soleil, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I do know that it sells. I've sold this brand before. I've sold, I think, in the past year, about two other ones so far. And this was in one of my videos a few weeks ago where I found two of these in the in a bin in Goodwill, and it was in the bottom of a like a big clothes hamper bin with a bunch of curling irons and hair presses and dryers. They were all knotted together. You 
pick it up and they all came out in like one entanglement. And for some reason, I just grabbed the whole wad and lifted it up to see what was in the bottom of the bin. And sure enough, two bicycle seats were sitting in there. And as soon as I saw them, I knew, boom, I took them. They were $4 each. These are Italian. They're made in Italy. And they have different styles. This is one of the lower ends. I've sold them before. That went for about $40. So this one sold for $21.75 plus $4.50 shipping. All I did was wrap this in some bubble wrap and put it in like a, I think it's like a 13 by 11 padded bubble envelope. And it was first class. It was under a pound. So $21.75 and I paid $4. So it was a decent sale. Now this is something you probably won't really ever find in a thrift store. One of those rare items. It's DDS 300. It's a decompression back brace and the box was open but it was all wrapped everything was new unused and it was ten dollars and when I scanned it and looked it up I saw what they were selling for so I had no problem spending ten dollars on it it sold in about two weeks for 79 75 I got full ass they didn't even come low six dollars shipping and that was a great flip so you know medical devices as, as you could say you know, be careful. Some are you're not allowed to sell, but if you are and they're not verroed or they're not, you know, you're not gated on Amazon, medical equipment does sell for good money. All right, let's look at a few clothing items that sold and a couple of good brands to look out for. This one is Robert Graham. Typically, they have like the button-down collared shirts, short sleeve or long sleeve, um, bright, vivid patterns and colors. So this was a short sleeve button-up. Tailored fit, size extra large, blue and white. It was in mint condition. I got it at Goodwill for $4 or $4.50. So keep an eye out for that brand. Of course, you know, if it's plain, if like with any shirt brand, you want things that are going to be vibrant, good patterns, and good sizes. The bigger sizes are better. So if I picked this up for $4.50. So for $22.95, $4 shipping. Easy fold, ready to a vinyl poly bag. First class, probably it was like three to four dollars to ship, so that was a good flip. I knew Robert Graham would sell, and it took about two weeks to sell. Okay, here's another thing. Everybody knows Disney is a great seller, whether it's in toys, you know, different kind of items or clothing. So this was a Disney Surfing Mickey Hawaiian shirt. Hawaiian shirts that are vibrant and good colors as well are always good sellers, but you got to watch for certain brands. But now I knew this one. With the surfing Mickey on it was going to be great because you're combining Hawaiian shirt with Disney and Mickey Mouse. So that combination is strong. And it was a size XL, mint condition. I think I got it at the same time as I got that Robert Graham shirt. So I also paid four or four fifty for it. And I didn't really find any comps on this one. So I kind of just saw you know similar Disney Hawaiian shirts and thirty one ninety five is what it sold for. $4 shipping, again, easy fold, went into a polyvinyl bag, first class, 3 to $4 to ship it out. So that was also a good profit. So Disney, of course, is the strong Hawaiian shirts. Other Hawaiian shirts to look out for, everybody hears about Tommy Bahama. Now, with Tommy Bahama, I probably said it before in videos, you don't want just any Tommy Bahama. Don't get excited when you see that brand because you hear people talk about it. You want vibrant colors. You want great patterns tropical palms leaves whatever be the case and or they do have some that have in place embroidery on the back with either palm trees um or their brand name so watch for those but disney and mickey mouse and a hawaiian shirt great combination okay here's a pair of women's cowboy boots that i sold the brand is justin boots i picked these up when i was in atlanta visiting family at the end of july so they took about three weeks to sell, I would say. And what I liked about up there is all their shoes in the Goodwill are one price across the board, unless they had some really high price ones. But for the most part, they were all either $5.99 or $6.99. So I think these were $6.99. And they sold for $41.95, $12 shipping. Shipping was priority. I probably used just a plain brown box that I had, have all different sizes. And... $41.95 from $6 or $7 is a good flip. All right, so if you watch my videos, you do see that I often pick up pretty good handbags and backpacks and luggage bags and whatnot. 
and this was one of them. Tommy Hilfiger. This was like a soft straw bag, which I guess is kind of like the in style now, these straw bags. Single handle, it's a hobo bag it's called. And it was in excellent condition. Doesn't look like it was ever used. So I picked it up for hmm, five, six bucks maybe. And it sold for $22.95. So not the best profit there. But you know, I knew it would sell pretty quick. I think it took about a month to sell, which for a bag is pretty good. 750 shipping. What I did with this, I folded the bag over. I folded the handle part down, then the bottom, so it was like in a third, and it was long. And then I put it into a bubble wrap and then a pop, big poly bag. So they already received it, left good feedback, no problem. So that was a good sale. Tommy Hilfiger bags, you know, I wouldn't pick them all up, but since it was a straw bag, which is kind of the thing now, I had no problem getting it. All right, so here's another bag that I picked up at Goodwill. I paid $8 for this one. Eric Javits, when I saw it, I had it was in the carts that they had just rolled out to get put away. And I pulled it out of there, and it looked like it was decent quality. It was interesting. I looked it up, and I was surprised because I didn't know that brand. And they were selling for good money. So $8, and it sold. I took an offer of $55 on it. I had it listed for $64.95. $8 shipping. What I did with this, I put this in a like a 12 by 10 by three inch box, laid it flat, so that was priority, and it was a good flip. I was happy with the $55 offer when I only paid $8, and I would say it took almost a month to sell. So again, for a bag, that's good. So Eric Javits, you know, I can't say that all their bags are good, but from what I saw when I comped it, because I didn't find this exact comp for this bag, but all their bags were pretty decently priced for used bags, you know, from, I'd say, 50 to $100 range. So if you see that brand and the bag's in good condition, you know, I would get it. All right, here's another bag that I picked up. This is a Thule Duo 2 backpack. Thule makes a lot of, I guess, cycling, mountain biking type equipment, bike racks and so forth. And I picked this up also in Atlanta on vacation when I got those Justin boots. Paid $5 for this bag. It was in pristine condition. Definitely had never been used. There wasn't a single mark, scuff, piece of dirt, nothing. It looked brand new. So for $5, as soon as I saw it, I was like, nice. Took it right away. Sold for, I took it off for $45. Had it listed for $54.95. And it was funny. Man, my mouth is getting dry. It was funny because someone sent me an offer of $30 and I counted them back at 45 and he bought it right away. So he was just testing the waters with the $30. I figured he was gonna come back at 35 and then I was gonna stay at 45 because this bag is definitely worth it. But Thule is a good brand for cycling. Now I'm not familiar with what other kind of equipment they make. I do know they make bike racks and backpacks and stuff like that. So. Okay, so these, if you've watched my other videos, you've often seen in my thrift vlogs when I go, two of the stores that I frequent have one of those big spinning eyeglass racks with all kinds of frames, cheap sunglasses, but all kinds of eyeglass frames, and I always check them, and I find some good frames. I found Gucci, um, I don't even remember some of the brands, but in the past year, I would say I've sold, you know, not a lot, but a good five, six, seven pairs. And this was one of them, Guess. This was a couple of weeks ago. This is a pair of Guess. It was a red, had like a gold accent on it. And they were in very good condition. And, you know, I always look for those brand names on those frames. And all the glasses at the stores I go to are $2. So you can't beat that. I don't worry about what the lenses are at all. If they're scratched, if they're you know, beer goggle glasses, whatever, bifocals, doesn't matter. Because people are looking for frames that are affordable online compared to in the stores that are expensive. And they just take them and they'll either put clear lenses in them and wear them for fashion or they'll just get their own prescriptions put into them. But they're getting the frames cheaper than having to buy them at the eyeglass store. So $2 into $32.95, free shipping. The way I ship glasses is when I do my books for Amazon, 
I often have to cut off the tops of the boxes because you cut down your boxes so they're nice and tight and I have the big flaps and so they end up being like eight inches wide and what I do is I make a I cut them I'll have to put it in one of my videos how I do it and it ends up being like a almost like a square tube where it's like three by three by eight inches long and it's perfect I put it I put these in a clear poly bag and then I put some bubble wrap around it and they, they're nice and snug and they can't get damaged and they ship for like three bucks you know they're, they're, they're very light so $32.95 from two dollars so check out those eyeglasses all right here's another pair of eyeglasses everybody knows Ray-Bans um, very popular and expensive sunglasses but these were the eyeglasses as soon as I saw that logo I didn't hesitate two dollars sold these for $29.95 which isn't great but again you know if they're Ray-Ban sunglasses you know they could be $100 $200 so free shipping again three dollars to ship it out I was also one of my little homemade boxes and paid two dollars for these and again don't worry about the lenses people are gonna replace them just make sure your frames are clean unscuffed that the uh, arms aren't bent screws aren't loose you know nothing was broken and glued and you'll they'll sell these and those other guest ones I just showed you both sold two days in a row and they both sold within I would say within a month of me listing them so that's pretty good okay now here this really isn't something you can specifically look for but I just like to always throw it in to remind people that books do sell on eBay I sell them on mostly on Amazon my Amazon inventory is probably over 400 right now and I sell probably I would say ballpark 120 books a month currently give or take so I mean compared to some people that's nothing but I'm happy with that but on eBay I probably sell a dozen books a month and right now I only have 12 active listings and the month of August which today is almost the last day I only sold 10 by this month so when you have you know a dozen listed and you sold 10 that's a good ratio so you know there's a whole process to figuring out what books you want to list but if you find some good books that you think are you know are worth listing try it you know you, I could get, I get my books for a dollar at the thrift store so for this one it sold $12.95 plus three dollars shipping it went media mail I don't know why it shows economy on there but media mail for any book up to a pound is like two dollars and seventy five cents I believe I don't remember offhand so you know you can turn a dollar so this was a ten dollar profit but if you do ten of those a month you know it's just an extra hundred bucks in your pocket so books do sell on eBay not just Amazon all right so that's gonna wrap it up that was 15 items that uh, recently sold for me I tried to pick some from different categories some good bolo brands items that sell for good profit so you have something to look for and of course we're all learning you never stop learning in this business so hopefully you you know you picked up on something if you have any questions put them down below and I'll try to help you as best I can and thanks for watching and I'll see you later bye